Hi there. Today, let's make a sunglass holder. This is the Boho Flower Sunglass Holder. And to do this one, you're gonna need four squares. So I already started here. You're gonna have two bottom squares that are finished all the way around. And then you're gonna have two top squares. Each of the top squares is gonna have a loop. The back is gonna have a long loop and your front is gonna have a small loop. And then you'll loop it through just like that. So I've already made three of my squares. So now we're gonna work on the top front square. All right, and to do that, I used a three millimeter hook and I used um, I love this cotton it is a worsted weight it's a it's a medium weight four I like the cotton because it doesn't have a lot of stretch to it um, and they clean real easy so you're gonna start with a magic ring and do a slip stitch and now we're going to single crochet 12 into our magic ring. This first stitch hard to work into. So we're going to slip stitch to join. And we're going to chain one. And now we're gonna do a half puff stitch. So to do a half puff stitch, you're gonna yarn over, insert your hook, and pull up a loop. And you're gonna yarn over again, insert your hook into the same space, and pull up another loop. So you will have five loops on your hook. And then we'll yarn over and pull through all the loops. And then we're gonna chain. And we're gonna do that in all 12 single crochet spaces. So you will have 12 puff stitches at the end of this round. All right, so we should have 12 of our half puff stitches with a chain after each one. And now we're going to slip stitch into the top of the puff stitch. And then we're gonna slip stitch into our first chain space because we wanna work into our chain spaces. And we're gonna chain two. Now for this round, we're going to do three double crochet clusters. So for your first one, your two chains are gonna count as your double crochet. So we're gonna start a double crochet and just do the first half. So we still have two loops on our hook. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, just the first half of your double crochet. So you should have three loops on your hook for your first one. And we're gonna yarn over, pull through all the loops, and we're going to chain two. So now in our next one, we're gonna work a full double crochet cluster. So we're gonna yarn over and insert our hook, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over, insert back into the same chain space, pull up a loop, Yarn over and pull through the first two loops only. Yarn over, insert back into the same space. Pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. So you've got three half worked double crochets and you should have four loops on your hook. And we're gonna yarn over and pull through all four loops. And that completes the cluster. And then we're going to chain two after each one. And we're gonna work into all of the chain spaces all the way around. 
So you will have 12 of these clusters for this round. Okay, we're on our last cluster. And we're going to join into the top of your first cluster there with a slip stitch and we're going to slip stitch to our first chain space and we're going to chain three now we're going to start creating our square so now we're going to be going in and doing our clusters of three double crochets like a regular granny square into our chain spaces and we're gonna create our corners. So in this first space, our chain three is gonna count as our first double crochet. So we just need two more in this space. Like that. And then we're gonna work into the next chain space and we're gonna do three double crochet Okay, now we're gonna create our first corner and we're gonna be doing that by doing three triple crochets, a chain two and three more triple crochet all into the same space. So you'll wrap twice. Like that. So you'll yarn over twice, insert your hook into the chain space and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Do one more. And now we're gonna chain two and we're gonna work three more into the same space. Just like that so you can see our corner starting to form and now we're going to do just clusters of three double crochet into the next two spaces there's one Like that. Now we're going to work our next corner. So we'll triple crochet three. Chain two. Just like that. Now we're going to work into the next two. And three more triple, triple crochet. Now we've formed our square. 
So now we're gonna do a border edge. And I like to do single crochet for this one. And then we're gonna do half double crochets in the corners. But I'm not going to join um, with a slip stitch. I'm just going to do a single crochet right into the top of the third chain here of my starting chain. Because when we finish off our round, we don't want any extra spaces or gaps here. So I'll show you how to do the invisible join. So we have even stitches across that edge so that when we seam it together, we don't have to worry about our stitches. So I'm gonna go right into the top of this third chain here, and I'm just gonna work a single crochet. And then I'm gonna work a single crochet into the top of each double crochet and triple crochet. But don't forget this one right here. If you want, you can line them up right in a row here. So I have to make sure you don't skip this one right here. So you should have two. And if it helps you to add a stitch marker there, you can do that. So we're just gonna single crochet across. like that and now in the corner we're going to work three half double crochets now we're going to work up the next side and we're going to single crochet into the top of each triple crochet and each double crochet one here and now we're going to do three half double crochets into the corner yarn over insert hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three loops do three of those okay now this is going to be our top edge and we want to add a loop so this this one has worked the exact same way. I just did 55 chains for the long loop. This one, we're gonna do six. So we want a single crochet over six to get to the middle. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six, and you should be lined up with this third stitch here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now I'm gonna chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I, you could go right back into the same stitch, but I like to connect them. So I go through this top loop of the single, the single crochet in the same stitch Go back into the same stitch and I'm going to pull up a loop. So I'll have three loops on my hook and I'll yarn over and I'll pull through all three loops. And that connects them so there's no space there. And then we'll do six more. Oops. We'll do six more single crochet across the top here. Three half double crochet in the corner. Just like that. And now we're gonna do 12 single crochet across this side. Three half double crochet in this last corner.
and you should just have three stitches left. And we're just gonna single crochet into the top of these three stitches. All right, now I'm gonna cut a tail here. And I'm gonna pull my end out. And now we're gonna do an invisible join here. So hopefully you can see my stitches. So this is the stitch I just completed. We're gonna skip the first one and insert our needle into the second one there. Pull that through. And then we're gonna go back into the stitch and actually go into the, the middle of the stitch we skipped. Like that. And that gives us a nice join there so that when you go to seam your sides together, you have the same amount of stitches on both squares. So we'll just tuck in our ends here. And then we're gonna seam a top and a bottom together. And then we'll seam the two front and back sides together. Okay, so let's take, and I like to put my, my seams where I join, I like to put them together. So they're both in the middle. I'm gonna make a knot in my yarn here. Okay, and I'm gonna join these with just a slip stitch. So you're gonna work into the middle half double crochet, but you're gonna only work into one loop on the inside loops. So for this one, it'll be the front loop. For this one, it will be the back loop. So we wanna make sure we're into that middle stitch there. And then this one, we're gonna go into the, let's see, middle stitch here. And I'm gonna pull through my working yarn. Okay, now we're gonna work into our next stitch again, the inside loop, the inside loop on that one, yarn over, pull through both of those loops, and then the loop on your hook there. So you can see how we're working across there and you're going to have you're going to have a loop on this side and a loop on this side. So you should have four loops going across here. Yep. 
So you'll see them in the front and in the back, or the top and the bottom together like that. And then this top and bottom together, you'll tie in these ends. And I'll come back when I finish these two and we'll seam the whole thing together. Okay, we've seamed our tops and bottoms together. And now we're gonna seam the front and back together. So we want wrong sides together. And I like to start this, I like to use the small loop as my front. So I like to start on this corner on the front and work my way around so that my single crochet, the fronts of my single crochet st stitches are on the front of my pouch. Grab my yarn. Already got a slip knot on it. We're going to start in the middle half double crochet and we're gonna go through both loops. And then the middle half double crochet on the back piece, also both loops. So you should be through four loops. Get my slip knot. All right, and I'm just gonna pull that through and basically do a slip stitch. And now I'm not going to chain before I work into the next stitches. So I'm gonna go into the next stitch and I'm gonna go through both loops again. So you should have four loops on your hook, yarn over, and I'm gonna work a single crochet. And I'm gonna do that going down the side into all these stitches here. Remember to go through both loops of the front and the back. Let's see, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. You should have 14 single crochets um, before you get to the middle here. Because around the middle, I like to do half double crochet stitches. Okay, let's see, we got two more here. There's one and two. Okay, now on both sides here, I like to work three half double crochet across the seam here. So we're gonna work our first one into the center half double crochet where you started your join. And make sure you get both loops on both sides. go like that and now I'm going to go into the middle as the best you can it may not be oops yarn over it may not be exactly in the middle but you want to kind of go in around the middle of the seam and work another half double crochet like that and then we're gonna work another half double crochet into the center half double crochet on this side. And it just kind of seals up that hole. Make sure you get both loops. This one's a little tricky, there we go. And then this one and this one. And now we're gonna work single crochets down the rest till we get to the center half double crochet again. And in the center half double crochet of the corner, we are gonna work three single crochets because we need to round that corner. Okay, I have a 
a few more here. Let's see. This is my first half double crochet. All right, and this should be my center. We're gonna do three single crochets. Just like that, to round the corner. And now we're gonna single crochet across the bottom. Again, make sure you're going through both loops of the single crochets on either side. So you don't have any holes. And we're gonna work the same corner on the other side. One more here. All right, now we should be in the center. Half double crochet. And now we're gonna work our three single crochet to round the corner. Just like that. And now we're gonna work the same way up the other side. We've got one more. And then just do a slip stitch to join it at the top there. Now this side I cut a little bit longer of a tail because I like to add a little leather tag. So we're gonna knot this side off, pull our end through. All right, now we're just gonna weave in our ends. All right, now the other side. You could do tags with rivets too. I just do sew on tags for these. Oh. There we go. And you want to make sure if you do do a tag, you want to make sure it's over some yarn. You don't want to attach it in a corner like that.
And there you go. And with the long loop on the back, you can even attach it to a purse, a bag. There you go. And I love this yarn, comes in so many great colors. So I hope you enjoy making them. I'd love a like and a follow. And if you make them and share them on social media, I would love a tag to see what you've done. Happy crocheting.